First Battle of Lincoln. The Empress Matilda made her move for the English throne, fueling the fire of the Civil War. This is like 20 plus years. After England defeated the French yeah, at the Battle ahead. of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. Oh no. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adeline, died in a shipwreck. Oh, that's rough. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, oh, Matilda. Good for him. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their Yeah, promise. back in those days, it's much harder for them to England accept a woman would not being be in... ruled by a woman. Yeah, being in power. Matilda's cousin, Stephen, saw his chance and claimed the throne. Oh, evil Stephen. Up to his old tricks. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. But Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Those old pictures are never very complimentary, are they? engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. She's like, got off. <laughs> Next, like, over like that. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities. Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. Clever girl. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. So we got to defend the castle. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Come on, Robert. Save the day. First Battle of Lincoln. The castle at Lincoln was under siege. Inside, forces loyal to the Empress Matilda awaited relief from her half-brother, Robert of Gloucestershire. To break the siege, Robert would have to capture the king. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. Yeah, I should have a longer line, and then that way my men don't block each other quite so much. No. Oh, that's so close. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's scuffed. Couldn't help themselves, could they? Oh, 
Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. Shank him up. You gotta sort of move him and then. Because I want a line like that. But I've gotta sort of push him in the right direction. Something like that is close enough. Are they gonna spot me again? Should be able to go now. Job done. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. I swear they're, they're talking quieter when you move them when they're in the ambush area. They start whispering. Like, there's always one! I put a whole position! Must have been one that didn't get a whole position command somehow. There's always one that just like charges out like a moron. He'd get demoted so quickly. Job done. Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Yeah. The push towards Lincoln. Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. Trying to regenerate some health. Doesn't seem to be working for these. Maybe it only works for longbowmen. That longbow man ability, um, re set up camp, left click to have a longbow man, set up camp, longbow man around the camp, regenerate health. Ah, so it only works for longbow man. Doesn't work for other units. Probably fairly balanced, because otherwise you could have some tanky units like elephants, and they'd really benefit from that, wouldn't they? Charge! He's actually blocked. So you have to pull units out if you want to keep a unit behind. I figure I'll try and keep the horse alive if I can. Oh, 
That's a tanky villager. And he took three damage. Well, GG. <laughs> With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshman. Rendezvous with the Welsh. Ah, but that's not how history works, Purple Duck. They're not innocent if they're working with the enemy. Or working for the enemy. There can only be one side, and that's the victorious side. I'm sending the knights ahead by themselves because they'll move quicker. If you make all the Making units move at the same Lincoln, time, they move slower. Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the king's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. Joining forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. These bridges are nice, aren't they? Look, oh, they always look like a trap. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need Let the Welsh to break go first. the blockade and rout the army. Well, it's a trap, but we've got to fight that anyway. You've got to destroy the blockade. I don't think I can pull them back. Well, the Welsh are going to charge in anyway, so... I was going to maybe sneak up there and around, but... The Welsh are just going for it. They don't care.
Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. They just kind of like pop up. It's the easiest way to get them in. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. Every charm and ten to lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. Clear the western camp. Central. Okay, well, let's come down here. But I assume I'm going to need some real units to do that. Frekus, Harkin. New intended, Frekus. Tip Dwindler. Shh. New surface. We need lumber. Where's lumber? Not a great spot for lumber, is it? It's just random trees nearby. Could send my dudes all the way out here for the lumber. Once they get there, it won't be so bad. Okay, so that's the market. It's barracks. Arsenal. The siege workshop. The siege workshop was always good, wasn't it? Like to get the mangonels. Needs a lot of gold for that, though. I'm sure they'll be fine over there. No problem, eh? We can't sneak around this side, can we? I don't think. Oh, right. I've got wood camp over here as well. Good spot, right? Uh, these guys are busy. Two marketplaces. Traders generate gold when assigned to trade with a trade place or another player's market. Once assigned to trade, the trader makes repeated trades between its home market and the trade target. You can assign a new home market if you wish. I don't know if that can go to another market. I'll try getting one and see what happens. I'm going to want a lot of people on gold because that's how I'm going to get the mangonels. Population's fine. What day this be on dog? Look who stay tolkers. Headless. It's all about those sweet, sweet mangonels. So the trade is going. Yeah, right to don some It's a filature. Trade is still taking time. Tier three at the moment, so easily good enough on that front. Let's see if they do the command. So they hand in the lumber, they go here, and then they should go onto that. Yep, they go there, stop, and then go there. So have a little pause instead of immediately moving. My trader unit should be. Uh, I don't think it can do that. So it can trade, set home market. So we set home market there. I don't think he's going to do it, because it's just sleeping at the moment. So, I guess when I get more experience with the game, I'll know what an actual trader spot looks like. But, I just wanted to see what that did. Alrighty, so, with my siege workshops, I'm going to build more of those. I'm going to start getting some blacks. Um, mangonels on the go. That's my top priority at the moment. And then the army had broken through the sturdy walls. Maybe upgrade those units. 
Those loyal to Matilda had to ensure that the keep did not fall. It's time to get those stone walls back up. Building. Nah, not sending out the army yet. Getting some more mangonels. Any mangonels in chat? We've got to get those. Gotta sell for a bunch of mangonels to build now. You can't patrol in this, can you? Oh, let's just put them inside of a base or something. He ain't doing nothing. In fact, just make him scout. I can probably just build walls quite easily. Tahiti, thank you very much for the big good stuff. Damn, nice. Getting that them there mangonels. And then I can take these forces way easier. Build wall extensions for the Manganos. <laughs> I don't know. Are we doing that again? Will it even be necessary? If the level's definitely hard enough, maybe, but... Where's my villagers? Oh, yeah. So I don't think you can have auto repair, right? you got repair, but I don't think you can necessarily have it to auto repair. Guys, a fair bit of lumber as well, actually, to be fair. I'm trying to sneak in again. No deal. The melee damage of all non-siege units. That's kind of weird, isn't it? So that's like anything that isn't a siege unit, right? Yeah. And then increases the range damage of all non-siege units and buildings. So what's the one that actually upgrades the range on actual siege units? That increases the movement speed. move out. I'll lose these units, but that's alright. As long as I keep on mangling off. Oh, they just shoot them down. Poor villagers. Let's go, mangling Got 
got these two loose battering rams in my base. But I guess they'll get taken care of. By the towers and such. So close, he's going to destroy the wall. Job's done. Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. down with the keep and then I can go back and build the wall. Oh my god. Quick. Abandoned ship. It's up to the mangonels to save the day. King Stephen's army dwindled. As Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp. Love these mangonels. This is still Britain, yeah. Moving 
The king's army was scattered, and those who didn't fall fled. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Capture him, eh? I'm gonna need some good units for that then. And I've got him. They're called Mangonels. I'm out of gold, so I actually got to get like barracks units or something. My trader. Being busy. Mangadal awaited Hestas. Says on Jims awaited Hestas. What need it be on the sea? Where are you on stairs? Be on out. On Jim, Yale for Hestas. What do you think is a good hockey to grab AFK peasants? Because that's a really important one. And it never feels like pressing control and. Dot or controlling uh, comma is a good one. You need a good one. Maybe even F1 or something like that. Don't think I'm using F1. I might have to reset to get it to work afterwards. Right, we'll have to buy some gold from the market. Doesn't quite tell you what the actual. Ah, oh, there you go, 32 gold. Just do mass infantry, because I think they've got a bunch of horses. I mean, um, spear dudes. That's their technical term. Cheeky mangana. got some upgrades going. I think Insulated Helm was one of them. Alright, my hotkey for AFK villages works again. That's cool. It's strange. I think in Age of Empires 2 you can like hold down left control and keep clicking this to knock down the number of villages that you have. 
But I don't think you can do it in this. So I think you just have to kind of like grab a few. That's quite good. I, wa I clicked on one farm and they all go onto a separate farm. I guess some longbowmen. Cheap and cheerful as well. They go through the gate, up onto the the walls, and then back down through here. <laughs> it's a shortcut. So having a quite a few of those gates would actually create some shortcuts. Gold mine over here, I think. Oh shit, I'm bringing all the villagers as well. He actually doesn't have much left after I sort of played around with those mangonels. <laughs> I wiped out like most of his army just men closed in bouncing back and, and finally forth. Captured King Stephen. Easy. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln. Good job. But the fight for the crown was not over yet. Maybe Robert wants the crown. Now that he's put a bit of effort into that, he might fight Matilda. First Battle of Lincoln, Matilda's forces ended the siege and took King Stephen prisoner. But Matilda was far from the end of her quest for her English crown. The Anarchy, so which ones have we seen? Have we seen this one? No, I don't think we have. After England defeated the French at the Battle of Maybe Renew, we did, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. I can always never tell whether I've seen these or not. But one year later, <laughs> his good fortune. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, until I see something like that, I recognise that. In 1120, the Empress's fight, flight. In the deep winter of 1142, the Empress Matilda, facing her, facing captured by her rival, King Stephen, was forced to make a daring flight from the Tower of Oxford Castle. Under cover of night, she descended the tower's ropes, uh, walls by rope, aided by a few ro loyal soldiers. Finding the gaps in Stephen dwindling uh, siege forces, the group fled unseen with Matilda wearing white for cover against the snow. Crossing the frozen river Thames, Matilda then trudged miles through heavy snow before finding refuge at a stronghold of Waylandford. Shortly after her escape, she slipped away to a court at Rowan, where she was free to plan the next phase of her challenge for England's throne. Mm. A counterweight trebuchet was the king of all siege engines. A catapult capable of smashing down castle walls from great distances. Boom. At Warwick Castle in England, they've built a replica, one of the largest in the world. Originating in 7th century China, by the 13th century, trebuchets had evolved into devastatingly powerful weapons. I didn't know it was made in China. Such a simple design, but so effective. It has several key features. A pivoted arm with a weight at one end, 
and a sling to hold the projectile at the other. To prime, the six-ton weight is raised using tread wheels. So this is one of the wheels, one of two that's attached to an axle, which would lift the counterweight, weighing six tons. It's based on muscle power alone. What's essential about launching a projectile as far as possible is making sure that this end of the arm is moving as fast as possible. So once that weight drops, it really sends this point of the arm moving at its highest velocity. This was done mm. by positioning the pivot close to the counterweight and by launching the projectile from a sling. When released, the sling whips round, vastly increasing the launch speed. That's some good Sections engineering right there. Aimed, like modern guns. In order to weaken the castle walls or even breach them, you had to make sure that the projectiles hit the same spot every single time. For each projectile to follow the same trajectory, they all had to be the same weight and shape. To achieve this, Masons used a gauge. Now, I'm going to load this projectile into the sling. Oh, this one must weigh about 25 kilograms, but some projectiles can get up to 150 kilograms. That's the weight of two men. Two big boys. Trebuchets were also used to throw burning tar, beehives, even dead bodies. Oh, yeah, that one's Anything gross. Anything to cause maximum distress to the enemy. Keep up. Thank you very much there for the couple of gifted subs. Did you hear that? Whoosh. She made massive attack. It was the counterweight trebuchet's lethal combination of power and accuracy that made it the ultimate medieval siege weapon. Oh. 